Now that we set up the power box, and of course you can use it with your hands, but it's really designed to be used with your feet. And it's very easy with your feet, and you can pedal for long periods of time with your feet. It is very important that it's on a stable surface and it doesn't move around. We currently have it set up to charge two things at the same time, a tablet and a cell phone. This is done by using a simple extension cord. Start pedaling, come up to speed quickly, and establish a normal rhythm at one and a half cycles per second. For those of you that are gonna be pedaling for long periods of time, we find it much easier to be sitting in an easy chair, reclined when you're pedaling. The unit is in fact designed to be screwed down to a piece of wood. There are four holes in each of the four corners of the feet underneath the pins that I'll just screw it down to a piece of wood so you can screw it down to a floor or you can screw it down to a piece of wood that's held in an angle like this. To operate devices that are beyond the power box's 20 watt capability directly, how you would do this is you would charge a battery first and then you can use that battery to operate the other device. So for example, this is an external battery on a laptop. You would charge this from the power box and then you would connect this to your laptop. I also have connected to the power box right now a standard sealed 12 volt lead acid battery. Uh, this is the one that's used with the Power Wheels kids toys. You can charge that up uh, with the power box and then you can run all kinds of devices off of that 12 volt battery. One of the great things about the power box is because you can pedal for long periods of time, it's very versatile. You can use it to charge external batteries and of course there's a wide range of sizes of 12 volt batteries and you can run many things directly off 12 volt, but you can also run an inverter off of a 12 volt battery and you can run pretty much anything that you can't run directly. So for example, we have a full-size laptop here plugged into this inverter and I also have an electric fan 